wearing that Anya drip with them long ass pants because I'm built different. So the objective so the objective of today's video is not to actually shit, the objective of today's video is not to actually stop caring about what everyone thinks because that's kind of psychotic and selfish and you know that's that's not wise you shouldn't think about what others are saying like strangers and haters rather than your family and your loved ones those are the ones you should be listening to even if they don't give advice that is very important or you don't agree with it particularly you know let's say for example me my parents don't really agree with me eating way less junk food or eating or like drinking water from from you know glass bottles or clean water they don't agree with me that much they don't really care but like because they see me doing it they're like why are you doing this why, why are you going through all this trouble just to not drink bottled water from plastic bottles? and i have my own reasons of course because i want to drink clean water i want to eat clean food i want to eat better i want to lift more i want to just perform better as a person and work more and stuff but they don't they don't understand that of course i shouldn't take some advice from them which has to do with work and stuff because they are not on the same level and they weren't above me like that they weren't at a certain level that i want to be at so i shouldn't listen to them on that one on a particular subject of course you it's way better to listen to them and rather than other people that don't give a fuck about you one of the things that alex hermosi says is when he has an argument with someone and he's stuck on it to, to, too much time on the argument he likes to say if you zoom out enough into space you won't be able to see earth which means that like, the universe is so big that your little problems are like very small it doesn't even matter that you have those small problems there are so many so many bigger problems in the universe that yours doesn't your, yours don't matter and that's what the, the point of the of that saying is because if you think about it it helps a little bit if you're stuck too deep you're thinking too much or thinking about it then you're like the universe is so fucking huge it doesn't even matter does it and of course it doesn't of course it does matter to you if it's a big problem and stuff but you shouldn't overthink things too much who cares if someone thinks that your authentic self is stupid let's say for example you like to upload you, you like to upload videos right and then you try to show your true self like me for example and there are some people that like like to comment like funny shit like haters and stuff like that they like to make fun of me and stuff you can do that all you want but like i know that i'm authentic i am true to myself i am even if you think that's funny i don't i put in work as you as you do like as you put in work in your stuff in whatever you're doing maybe even in real life you're trying to be as authentic as possible and people come up to you and tell you that you're stupid and stuff or they just mock you just don't listen to them they don't even know you they haven't even been a year living with you inside your brain to even know a little bit of what what of who you are of what you have gone through what your goals are they don't know that so why listen to them of course you shouldn't because like they don't even know your dog's name why the fuck would they know even more about you if they don't even know your dog's name they're gonna forget you in five years like it's one of the things one of the things that goes doesn't will it matter in five years no of course not so that's why you shouldn't care that much about it stop caring way less about that others opinion i just have to fucking close this window because these fucking middle school kids playing their music and stuff much better anyway as i was saying if someone like that comes up to you and tries to tell you something just to like change your opinion or change your authentic self like giving you tips and shit like boy are you gonna feed me are you gonna are you, are you gonna like put food on my plate are you gonna pay my bills especially if you're doing something like youtube or you have a big dream are you actually going to help me with that or are you just spitting shit just so that you can feel better about yourself exactly shut the fuck up and keep doing what you're doing don't even bother giving shit to me or advice that reminds me do you actually remember what the last thing someone did in your class that was embarrassing do you actually remember that yeah of course i, I remember as well yeah, yeah yeah i remember okay but the thing is do you actually every day do, do you actually wake up and you think do you think about that 
You think about the one time that one guy or the one girl did something embarrassing that shut her pants maybe. Uh, do, you, do you wake up remembering that? Or do you wake up having goals? Thinking about life, thinking how you're gonna get food on your plate. Do you actually think about that? Do you actually think about the others? No, you don't. And so do they. So, so, fuck. So do they. They don't. They don't think about you. They think about themselves way more. I suppose you stop thinking about that. About them thinking about you because that's actually kind of psychotic, as I said before. And it's like you're the main character and stuff like that, which is not true. Of course, everybody's in their own world. So if you did something embarrassing a few months ago. And you still come to class thinking that everybody's thinking about that one time. You're fucking mistaken. Like nobody's thinking about that. I don't. You don't. You don't even remember it most of the time. Neither does anybody else. They don't have like super brain powers and they just remember it. So stop overthinking about that and just show up to class confident and ready to work, rather than just being like all you know, kind of autistic and stuff. You know. Also, th this this goes to the next step. Right? This goes to this next thing I was trying to say, is. Have you ever had that one motherfucker that tried to tell you that he was better than you on a certain craft? Maybe like boxing or studying or you know school, whatever. Has that ever happened to you? Because if it, if it did and you th were thinking like, oh yeah, he must be better and stuff, he's automatically below. Because if he's bragging about it too much and he's showing off, he's not trying to help, he's just there to show off, that basically tells you about him everything he actually is very shallow as a person he is a little bit better than you in a certain skill and he's trying to show off like a real pro of a certain craft wouldn't just brag about it too much he would show off yes of course whatever but he would try to teach you because most of these people like to actually teach what they learned what they have learned and what they are capable of to other people so they can experience that exciting feeling of being good at sport or being able to study way better way better than before they're gonna try to help you they're gonna uplift you they're not gonna try to bash you down and just degrade you if you're not using social media for either work or uh, or education or educational purposes then delete it that, like delete Instagram, delete Facebook, delete YouTube, like delete Snapchat, delete like all social media from your phone and TikTok as well. Just because it really fucks with your brain, especially if you scroll too much on reels and you look at maybe there's a certain topic that you are, that you have a certain opinion on, a strong opinion. And then you look at the comments and there's someone bashing your opinion and saying that it's trash. No, bro. Like, why would you listen to that? Of course, yeah, okay, he has an opinion, but most likely they don't even, like, like the person that wrote that comment, they don't even know that side of the story. They don't even know that they have never been that side of the argument. They never experienced some stuff that you have experienced. So why listen to them? They may be just some dumb kid that wrote that shit because he was bored. And you're listening to that. If you look at the person that wrote the comment in real life, I'm guarantee you that his life is shittier than yours. Because they're just trying to like bash other people because they want because they are lower than them and they want to grab like you know the crab analogy like you know the um, crab in a the bucket they're trying to pull the other crab down why listen to them if you let them control your anger and your emotions they are the master of you that's another quote that i like to say so try to actually ignore what the fuck they are saying and even better just delete instagram and your know, social media because if you're not using it for work or education it's not useful at all. another reason to not use social media or delete it is actually because a lot of us me included as well i did that before we try to compare ourselves to others let's say for example somebody else you know you scroll on your for you page and you find someone like alex eubank or someone else that has like a huge physique and they were training for like four or five years and you were training for four or five years as well but he has like way more muscle than you and you start comparing yourself to him and you're like damn i mean i'm i have no progress that i'm in trash I'm, I'm i look trash like what did he do whatever and you try to compare yourself to him you know that quote that goes comparison is the thief of, is the thief of joy that's exactly that so stop comparing yourself and actually start to compete a way better alternative to comparing yourself because it may seem fun sometimes and stuff no try to compete 
find out what his diet is, find out how many times he goes to the gym, find out what he eats, what supplements he uses. Just try to compete and do it way better than him. Her, whatever. Surpass that version of yourself that was like, ah, I like to compare. No, don't compare. Compete and become way better. And you're gonna see way more results like that. But of course, the best alternative, the best way to actually avoid uh, comparing yourself to other people is not looking at social media whatsoever. That's all for this video. I hope you like watching this video. I have similar videos to this one on my channel. And please subscribe, like, comment, you know, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys next week. Stop wasting time.